Hi guys, what's up? So happy Father's Day to all of you. And sorry for some technical issues. I am late with my video. Today I made a fruit custard tart to celebrate Father's Day. So let's see all the steps very carefully. It's not tough, but a little bit long procedure. So let's start. Write down your ingredients, please. So first step, I have here the almonds. I freeze them because otherwise um, almonds when you are going to blend them they release oil so first thing you have to put in the freezer or in the fridge I put in the freezer like for 15 minutes then blend it until it's not in a powdery form so here I need still to blend this okay now uh, second step we need to uh, make our dough so I put um, flour, almond flour and chilled butter. You have to uh, put chilled butter, not um, the room temperature. So here I'm adding my powdered sugar. You can add the normal sugar. But I had powdered sugar, so I'm going to use this one. Okay, so now I'm adding egg yolks. But if you don't want to use eggs, you can use yogurt instead of eggs so you can use like 80 to 100 grams of yogurt but uh, put gradually and check the consistency of the dough dough should not uh, be sticky so you can see my dough is very hard it's all right if it's hard don't worry now with parchment paper and a rolling pin roll your dough Okay, the dough shouldn't be uh, too thick or too thin. I think it should be around 3 millimeters to 5 millimeters. Now I'm tracing the circle and cut with the help of the knife and place into the tray. Close the tin and now we are cutting borders and set into the tray. Okay, so you can see I have extra dough so that dough I will store it or in the freezer or in the fridge for one week or 10 days. You can make biscuits from it or another tart, jam tart if you want. So don't waste it. Make biscuits. Okay. So now we are going to make pastry cream. Okay, I'm using eggs here, but you can replace eggs with um, cornstarch. I have cornstarch 40 gram, but you can add 60 gram. Here I have added my milk and the cream, vanilla essence and lemon zest into the pan. And now we are going to heat it. On the side we are going to make egg cream okay here we have eggs cornstarch and sugar mix them it should be without lumps so mix it very well so now we are adding our turmeric because I want a more yellowish color, so I'm adding turmeric, not the food color. So it's more healthy. You are not going to um, feel the turmeric, so don't worry about this. Milk is hot. Now we are going to add into the eggs. So first put little bit to take up the temperature and then pour all of milk. Okay, put back into the pan and on the gas we have to boil this until it solidifies so stir continuously otherwise it will burn don't stop okay you can see it's ready turn off the burner and pour back in the bowl I'm using the same one then cover it with the cling wrap and let it cool down in the fridge or at room temperature. Now 
you have to preheat the oven at 330 Fahrenheit or 165 degrees. Okay, with the help of a fork, poke the dough so the dough will not puff up. Now put some beans for blind cooking and we are going to cook in this way for 15 minutes. After 15 minutes, remove uh, the parchment paper with the beans and let it cook for another 20 minutes. Now I am going to make glaze or jelly for the strawberry stopping. So in a cup of water I am adding uh, 1 tablespoon of cornstarch and 1 tablespoon of sugar. Now whisk it. Water should be on um, room temperature or cold when you adding cornstarch otherwise it will create lumps so be careful. Okay, now you can see it's very hard, so I'm adding a little bit more water to, to make it a liquid, so it's easy to brush. Now time to assemble. Okay, here our tart is ready. You can see the bottom. Okay, first layer I'm going to put um, jam, strawberry jam. Any jam you can use. Um, it's homemade, but you can use any jam. So the second layer we are adding cream so here you can use piping bag but i'm using zip locker bag so cut and spread equally okay so now with the spoon spread it make a clean layer and now we are going to make a our flower of strawberry so at this point you can use your creativity okay here I have my tart with strawberries ready now I am brushing the jelly or the glaze so this mixture will help them to stay fresh until cake survives so don't miss this here we have our cake ready our tart ready and i hope you will like it so subscribe like share with your friends and family and try this recipe if you have any doubt or question please let me know in the comment section and i will be very happy to answer so guys Thank you so much and I will see you in the next recipe. Till then, stay safe, stay healthy. Bye-bye.